boy crypto millie with another altcoin update um in today's video we're going to be talking about what to expect with the upcoming week in crypto so if you like videos like this make sure that you like subscribe hit that notification bell and comment interact with the video let me know in the comments what your favorite chain is right now to be a dj and i love to know what chain everyone is using i think i got an idea i think i got an idea but let's get into this news and upcoming week we do have the fomc meeting in the next three days two hours 14 minutes and of course 15 seconds there with a um 96.9 percent of a pause family so if you've been paying attention to the inflation it's a little bit sticky right we're seeing the economy show um extreme growth up 3.3 3.3 percent in q4 which was huge right unfortunately if we want to get some type of fed uh cut which a lot of people want that would mean that the fed has to break something and unfortunately the economy looks great and it looks strong you feel me i'm not sure how the economy is where you are at but it seems like people um for the most part are um holding their jobs working and, and everything is looking um to the up and up as far as that company i will say this though um a debt the debt is at an all-time high so that's one thing that that we got in our back pocket but again family um if we just go look at the uh, the fomc because we don't have one in february i think we talked about this but if we go to march here you can see there's a 46 percent chance out of a cut you know when you think about what we got you know as far as catalyst we got the halvin cycle in april we got no meeting in february and then we could potentially get a fed cut in march things are lining up for crypto and altcoins to go parabolic now i will say this this week could be a little bit rough because of volatility from the earnings now we do have a huge earnings week ahead of us with some of the top tier companies like microsoft google and shell all having to report their earnings which could cause volatility in the stock market and that volatility in wall street could trickle down to crypto so again if you are trading be safe understand that you know bitcoin crypto whatever goes up and down and just be prepared for volatility and pain um, we also do have larry fink here again speaking on tokenization as you can see here he says i believe the next generation for markets the next generation for securities will be tokenization of security so expect everything to be making a transition to the blockchain we see grayscale getting prepared for their spot bitcoin etf we're seeing some of the biggest brains in the world talking about how the future of the stock market is the blockchain right tokenization of security so for the next two weeks what we will be doing here on this channel is we will be doubling down on some of the new top narrative that i am seeing and finding the best of the best small cap and altco altcoin gems that fit these narratives narratives like modular blockchains as most of the top blockchains are monolithic a lot of the you know new tech is coming out with this modular um technology um that makes blockchains even more scalable and interoperable we also have the emerging restaking and lsd narrative so restaking has it, it seems to be a huge narrative i actually want to do a video on exactly what restaking is so i won't talk too much about it and of course lsd tokens like pendo oh my god pendo man pendo it's old pendo at 50 cents that's it it's sitting at two dollars and i got in at five cent family probably the most jeeted jeets of the jeets man that hurts pendo pendo that hurts okay deep in narrative we are in some deep in projects we've talked about this on the patreon brc20 infrastructure so there was a huge huge whirlwind um with the um satoshi vm news and we're starting to see a lot of liquidity roll into some alternate bitcoin layer two so we will be talking about that on the channel gamblefy gamblefy has been crazy um a lot of people are talking about the karate token and the uh, you know the you know massive opportunities over there with karate and how they're you know gamblefy and um gaming um concept is set up for uh, a lot of people to win so you, you know you want to start utilizing these strategies early before they get stopped out right and of course zk zero knowledge proof and omni chain omni chain is going to be huge because we're starting to see even meme coins push the narrative 
you know coming out the gate omni chain right so i've talked about a, a meme coin that i'm really 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 um bullish on that's on over 15 different chains i think i'm gonna do a video on those guys so be prepared for some of the new narratives these narratives have changed from phase one but you're tapped in into a great channel that doesn't mind going into the deep end to figure out what will be the up and coming altcoin gems that fall under the nar these narratives and if i missed any narratives so be sure to let me know in the comments i always read the comments i love to see what you guys are, are looking at in the space as well um to close out the video i'm not really seeing too much changes on the charts here right on the weekly we're still above the gossip channel which is bullish um we haven't uh reset on the stock rsi yet so um we could retest this trend line once again but you're seeing the buy volume tick up as grayscale is tapping out i believe their sell volume is tapping out so they might be you know um they might be uh uh you know that that what, they, what happened was they had to just sell off their bitcoin and then buy it in cash because it's spot now right so that selling pressure from grayscale may be um diminishing but i want to put out there that the uh government could potentially still sell off millions of dollars of crypto from the um silk road uh, uh situation so they do we do have that as well that could sneak up on us so again seeing that the stock rsi on the weekly has not reset I would prepare more so for more pain and volatility this week. And I'm taking a look at the tether dominance. Not a lot of people want to. You can see by these wick candles, not a lot of people want to move their their their. Um, so not a lot of people want to actually move their crypto back to to stable coins. People are ready to, you know, submit and be submissive to the fact that we could possibly be in a bullish trend, as you can see here on the weekly the tether dominance gossip channel has turned red which is extremely bullish because now people are like we're not going back to stable coins we're going to hold our cryptocurrencies until peak bull run because these are the cryptos that we have the highest conviction on and let me know in the chat what projects you have the highest conviction on i'm taking a look here at the eth btc pair now this is the one that we want to see finally turn green that we haven't this is kind of like the the last step to where we know altcoin season is here once the eth btc pair turns green on the gossip we have not gotten that yet but i believe it's coming soon we just keep getting rejected here once again we got rejected three times here at this um, resistance that we've built over time that we built back over here around may so we built this resistance here around may and we just keep getting rejected here so i would love to see us finally break this resistance and continue to put in an uptrend here with the eth uh, bitcoin pair you want to start to see that go up and you want to see the gossip channel turn green which would um signify that altcoins are freaking bullish right that we are one step closer into a massive parabolic altcoin season and last but not least you can see here the dxy hopefully gets stumped out here and reject it and we can put in a lower high and finally go to retest the support down here at 99 man i'm telling you when the dxy starts to creep back down to 199 watch out now for some nasty moves to the upside for btc and even altcoins and i didn't check out the the total altcoin chart i don't have it pulled up so we'll pull it up here and see what's going on with that and um again nothing not, not much has changed i said you know 30 days of sideways or pain could be in the works here with the others chart this is excluding the top 10 altcoins in stables i love to see this because this is the heart this is the this is the meat and bones of the altcoin gems right to see if the altcoin gems have turned bullish here on the gossip channel on the weekly so that's extremely bullish family that's extremely bullish but again 
usually when we go to reset the stock RSI, it takes us about 40, you know, 42 to 40 days until we can get a nice good reset. Sometimes it's, you know, 15 days, you know, five to 15 days, but most times it's a month before we get that full reset as the um, altcoin market looks to. I'm putting a little correction and then take its next leg up, which you can pretty much look at Solana, right? Because Solana, in my opinion, is the premier chain right now. Every, if you just go look at, <laughs> If you just go look at a Solana coin, right, and you can just see like rapid activity on chain, like people just buying, selling, people just buying, selling. Um, very, very bullish here for Soul. You feel me? The Gossin channel is green. That's bullish. And this is a man. The next move for Soul. Oh my goodness, it's gonna be a nice move, man. Because if this thing can like really break down here to support and wow you can put that uh right let's say right here um that would put us around the green candle for soul the next move to the upside could put us somewhere and why oh, is this uh it's just like 100 130 140 bucks right i mean that's crazy actually let's move this down all right, cool. So yeah, um, yeah, 150 bucks here, right? If we can hold that support that we built back there, we're looking at a, the next, you know, next big move for Soul. You know, could could push Soul up to almost 150 bucks. So I would pay attention to Soul because Soul is where the most activity is going on, and it, the Gossin channel is green. So that's bullish, and this is a huge flagpole and if it breaks down to support here the next flagpole because you can usually just you know take the length of the flagpole and move it in kind of like um um you can kind of like predict the next move of course anything can happen we can get a black swan event anything can happen but let's say you know it breaks down here to support around 60 70 bucks and then shoots back up to about 140 because so many buyers will come in once uh, the stock RSI down here goes to the reset. So I think Seoul falls down a little bit lower, probably around this range. But it's so strong, it's hard to say, especially with this Gossip channel. And then we blast up to anywhere between 120 and 140 bucks. So y'all let me know what y'all think. Just upcoming news on cryptocurrency. Love to give you guys a macro um outlook on what's to head we got 80 days until the next bitcoin halving cycle i'm bullish are you bullish it's your boy crypto millie i'll see you in the next one